Hey everybody, this is Jacob Toronto here, also known as Chasing Cinema to the Masses. Uh, I know you can see something is a bit weird here, as I am by myself at AMC Town Square for the midnight movie showings that we do. Uh, James Shu is missing in action, but that is okay, because I have seen both films already, and we're going to talk about them both, and that is McFarlane USA in Hot Tub Time Machine 2. Now, if you do want to see what I have to say about Hot Tub Time Machine 2, make sure to go check out our channel, uh, youtube.com slash chasing cinema, and you could find that video. But this is gonna be my review for the new Disney film, McFarland USA. So, this film is a formula we've kind of seen over and over again. Ever since Remember the Titans, and maybe even before that, the team of outcasts or people that aren't supposed to get along who overcome all odds. Um, this is a movie we've seen with Remember the Titans and Pride and Glory Road and Coach Carter. The teams that aren't supposed to succeed go for everything and surprise the world. Now, this movie is actually not about basketball or football, it's about cross country. Not the most interesting sport we could talk about. Um, that makes me wonder how interesting this movie can be. Though it is being led by uh, veteran actor Kevin Costner, hopefully he is able to give this movie some chemistry and hopefully give this movie some life. Now I do know it's about 2 hours and 10 minutes, making it also quite a lengthy film uh, for Disney, but and also probably not a very advertised one. I've noticed that the film does kind of lack that huge Disney push. Um, some people know what I'm talking about when I refer to the movie. Other people ask me, what, what movie are you talking about? I haven't even heard of it. Uh, most Disney films, everyone knows exactly when it's coming out, how long it's been advertised for, so on and so forth. So why don't we run into the theater as the cross country team would do, and let's see how McFarland USA is. Catch you guys after the movie. So after getting out of Hot Tub Time Machine 2, I figured the best place to visit is the AMC Town Square Bar. Uh, but luckily we won't be talking about that movie because we're going to be talking about McFarlane USA, the new Disney film about a man who ends up bringing together an unlikely cross-country team and takes them to state. Now, this is based on a true story. Uh, the coach, Jim White, uh, moved to this small town McFarland after having some incidents at previous schools, and uh, which is a, in, to McFarland, California, which is a predominantly Latino um, area. And uh, most of these kids actually work with their parents in uh, the fields as pickers. And as he notices them running back and forth from school to the fields, uh, back, to, back to school, he notices that they all have a common ability to run. Now, we've seen this type of movie played over and over again, as I mentioned earlier. It's a formula that we're very familiar to. But not many films have hit home for a lot of people. Sure, Coach Carter was an alright movie. Glory Road wasn't that great. But remember, The Titans is the movie we kind of claim as being the best. Uh, I am shocked to say that McFarlane USA is almost nearly as good as Remember the Titans. It really, really hit home to me. I thought Kevin Costner was great in this um, outcast type role as he is trying to understand and learn the lives that these kids lead. Uh, one of the most funny parts of the film is when he actually takes it upon himself to go to the fields with the young boys and uh, pick for a day and they just show you how hard it actually is. Um, I think the movie is really interesting because most of these movies also um, go through obstacles we've seen before but taking a new demographic, being with the Latino, uh, the Latino demographic, it is an interesting different pace. Um, I also felt the chemistry between the team and Kevin Costner made this movie really have a heart. Um, there are some really beautiful moments as the team is entered in, uh, becomes finalists to get into the state championships. He takes them to an ocean where most of his kids on this team have never seen one. And it is a really wonderful moment as you see these, uh, these very young, hardworking teens run to the water. I mean, it's a really beautiful moment. The movie also is aware of what it is, it accepts it, and it really just tries to tell a heartwarming story. Um, it also is one of the funniest movies I've seen in this type of category. Uh, I really, really enjoyed this movie. Like I said, I think it's one that is equally as good as uh, Remember the Titans. Probably my favorite film I've seen so far this year. It really hit home with me. It made me emotional. I know I tend to be a sap sometimes, but I think everyone's going to really love this movie. I just hope everyone goes to see it. Again, that is McFarlane USA, and if you want to read my full review, you can go to ChasingCinema.com slash McFarlane USA. Now make sure to hit subscribe on this YouTube channel, also known as YouTube.com slash Chasing Cinema. Make sure to like this video and leave a comment. Tell me what you thought about the movie. I'd love to hear your thoughts. But don't be surprised if I end up arguing with them if they're not the same as mine. Uh, next week we'll be back here for even more movies. Again, I am Jacob Toronto here at, at AMC Town Square. Go to ChasingCinema.com. I'll see you next week.